Oh my god, there's a crying cut. Oh. All I want to do is order my freaking Chick-fil-A. The iPhone 11. <gasps> What'd you do? Okay. So yeah, this happened. This is my current phone. I'll tell you guys what happened a little bit later on. But I ordered a new one and it's at home and I did not trust myself at all to even bring it out without a case on it. So, I'm at Target, of course. I'm gonna go try to find a phone case and then probably gonna go to Walmart. Chargers. Here we go. The phone that I got is white. So if I do a clear case, I want it to be something with a cute little pattern on it. Ooh, like, nah, that's kind of ugly. Cause it has that charging ring in the background. This could be cute, but this could also preferably not be $50. <laughs> I want this one, honestly, because my sister had the white iPhone 11 with this case on and it looks super cute, but I'm also like, I don't know, I don't want to get this same. Ooh, I like this one though. Oh, it would be for iPhone 11. I'm honestly not super satisfied with my selection. I was gonna get this black one with like the matte cheetah print on it because it's super cute. But I was really only gonna get it because it's the best of my options. But I really like this lemon one. Oh my God, there's a crying cut. Oh. Anyway, I really like this lemon one the most. So I think I'm just gonna see if they have it at another Target. Probably not gonna go to another Target today, but I'm still gonna go to Walmart. This is the phone case that I have on right now. It's so loud in here. I don't know how these white flowers are gonna show up on a white phone, but this is kind of not that cute to me. Maybe I'll just do this one. When I first opened the box and I saw that it was black, I thought that they gave me the wrong color because I got the silver one that kind of looks like it's white. And normally, as you guys know, iPhone boxes come like in white. So I was like, oh my gosh, they sent me the wrong freaking one. No matter how many iPhones I've had, it's literally still so exciting every time you open it. Oh! It kind of has like a little iridescent glow. I don't know if I'm tripping or not, but that's so pretty. I like that it's matte on the back. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the back of it kind of looks like it's matte to me. I normally just get like the regular, so I was gonna get the regular 12, but I decided to get the 12 Pro, honestly, under my sister's influence because when I broke my phone, I wanted to upgrade it because we were due for upgrades anyway. She was gonna get the 12 Pro, and I was like, well, I don't wanna get the 12 if she's gonna get the 12 Pro. So I got the 12, or no, I got the 12 Pro. I kind of wanted to get the 12 so that I can get a pretty color because I wanted to get the green, but then I remembered with the phone that I have, so I have the purple iPhone 11 right now, and normally with this phone, it's super hard to find cute cases and stuff that look good with the purple so before we get into the comparison and the unboxing and all that let me just tell you guys what happened to my phone in the first place because it's actually a really funny story it's not that funny but like I can laugh at myself now so Jeremy and I were going to Chick-fil-a and we were on our way to somewhere else so I wanted to order ahead so that we can get off the freeway and just go pick up our food and not have to wait in line and all of that. So I'm trying to order, but I open my Chick-fil-A app and the first thing it tells me is that I need to update my app. So I update the Chick-fil-A app and it logs me out of my app. I don't know the freaking password because it's always logged in by itself. So I have to reset my password through the email. Then after I reset my password, I go back to the app and the app tells me I have to verify my email. So I go back and I verify my email. Mind you, all of this is running slow because I just don't have good service where I am. So it's just going like slow as heck. And I'm like, all I want to do is order my freaking Chick-fil-A. I finally get all my food in the basket in the cart whatever you want to call it <sighs> and at this point we're like around the corner from chick-fil-a i go to press apple pay and my apple pay decides not to work i don't know why it just my apple pay wasn't working so i added my debit card and then my freaking debit card is like oh it's not gonna work and let me just say i had enough money on my card to get chick-fil-a that wasn't the problem but it, it just wasn't going through everything was going super slow and i was like you know what f it and i just threw my phone on the ground Maybe I threw it a lot harder than I thought I did, but in the moment it didn't feel like I threw it that hard. And this hard ass steel hydro flask was on the floor and my phone smacked right into it and it shattered my screen. So yeah, it doesn't look that bad, but like it kind of there, now you can see it. 
not really a cute crack luckily for me i've had this phone since the end of 2019 and i was due for an upgrade anyway so this is the box that the phone came in and i just noticed it only comes with the plug and the plug is not even a usb cord that's crazy the plug is a usb c to a lightning port or iphone port and for some reason they decided not to provide the little blocks or the boxes that come with the chargers i honestly think that is super inconvenient because i feel like a lot of people don't just have usb c ports laying around everywhere it's literally been at least 45 minutes and my phone still has not finished updating and transferring all this freaking information so in the meantime i'm just going to do a little comparison of the two phones so the purple one is the iphone 11 and then the new one that i got is the iphone 12 pro at the back of the purple one is like shinier and it's more of like a glass the back of the 12 is more matte and like kind of almost iridescent along the sides the 12 is like more of like a square shape to it this this is cute until it gets fingerprints all over it, but the side of it is a little bit more flat and square versus the 11, which is a little bit like rounder and more matte. My phones are now transferred over. Some of the stuff is still loading, but I kind of want to change around like the look of my phone because I've had it like this for, I don't know, a couple months now probably. So I think I changed it in like November or December, but I kind of don't want to do it right now. What I need to do is still figure out how to put this thing on SIM card in the phone. He's over there laughing at me because he thinks it's a simple task. What'd you do? I didn't do nothing. Oh no, maybe it's face up. I think you can only put it face up. Come on, I thought you knew what you was doing. Girl, all I gotta do is put this back in the phone. <laughs> we'll see if it's face up. iPhone is activated. This is the case that I ended up getting at Walmart earlier. It was on clearance for $7 and I really just got a case so I can have a case. Kind of just like a temporary until I can find something better. Ooh, she's cute. I also got this glass screen protector. Honestly, I was gonna say so that this doesn't happen again, but this was honestly just a result of my own issues. So I'm not even gonna blame the screen protector because I actually did have a glass screen on when I broke it. I want to reorganize my apps and kind of change the theme on my phone, but it took so freaking long for it to update and get the software and everything and all that. It's already kind of late and I don't feel like doing that right now. So I think we're just gonna do that tomorrow okay so last night after i stopped filming i spent quite a lot of time on pinterest just like picking out pictures and colors and different stuff the setup that i have on my phone is cute right now but i'm kind of just tired of looking at it i want to do something new as you can see i saved some pictures from pinterest last night and just try to see like what they would look like together i also made a board that's called brown aesthetic just because and i've just been pinning like different pictures in it that i like to have like brown or tan based beige tones and stuff. This is one picture that I found on Pinterest and I'm just gonna try it and see what it looks like, I guess. So if I'm gonna set this as my home screen, I think I'm gonna change this widget or just change the photo to like this brown silk instead of the blue. Set widget and then I'm gonna change this widget. I saved this little cream beige looking car that looks almost very similar to the one that I just had on there, the blue one. So I'm gonna do that. And then this app is Widget Smith. So I'm just gonna take this one, choose a different photo. I think I'm gonna change it to these nails. I'm really just trying to keep pretty much the same like setup, but just change the theme and change the colors a little bit. And then for this widget extension, Pinterest has widgets now, so you can choose a widget that's on your screen that's gonna change. This will make more sense when I show you. You can choose a board. So I wanna change this to my brown aesthetic board and that's gonna update either hourly or daily. It's gonna change to a different picture that I have saved on that board. And I like to do mine hourly, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And that's the first picture it pulled up. I'm gonna try changing the picture of the nails to this rolly. Okay. I already did a what's on my iPhone video a couple of months ago and it's really all still the same stuff But I'm just gonna go through and show you guys what's on my iPhone again on my home screen I actually ended up putting this widget back to the right side. I like having both of them on the right I don't know why I just like that a little bit better than having it over here I thought I would have liked it over there, but 
I don't know, I just don't. So on my home screen, I have all of my basic like Apple standard apps. So messages, calculator, camera, photos, weather maps, notes, and find my. And then I have this one color widget on the top that just has the date and the time and my battery percentage. And then this other one on the bottom is from Widget Smith. And that's just the picture, a little brown heart, repetitive brown heart that I found on Pinterest. And then this widget is my Pinterest widget. But I also am just gonna show you guys real quick. These are the other pins that I have in my brown aesthetic board it's only 16 pins right now because I just did it last night and I plan on adding more but these are just the pictures that will rotate through like on my home screen so every hour that picture is gonna change to something different and then on the other screen I have my social media apps Instagram Facebook TikTok Twitter Pinterest snapchat I have my YouTube folder so I have my YouTube TubeBuddy I don't really use anymore and then I have YouTube tracker which I also don't really use anymore um, camera connect so if I want to take a picture or start a video or something from my phone I use camera connect for that and then Google Sheets is where I keep my content calendar so I have that in my YouTube folder as well in my editing folder I have Pixar, Fonto, Lightroom, Facetune, and Shazam I have Shazam in there because when I'm editing videos or if I'm watching a video sometimes I like someone's song that they have or the music that they have on their video so I use Shazam to like get the song and then in my finances folder I have Chase, Credit Karma, Digit which is like a savings automatic savings app, Capital One, Venmo, and Cash app for the quote, your direction is more important than your speed, I couldn't find a picture that I really like to put behind there. So I just used the picture from my wallpaper and honestly, I don't know. Honestly, I think it looks fine. I think it looks kind of cool having like a little miniature version of it. And then my calendar widget, I just have a photo of some brown silk in the back of that. Just something that I, I wanted something that was brown and solid, but not just literally brown. So I put the silk there. The last widget on the bottom is just a brown Rolex that I thought was super pretty, super cute. And in my shopping folder, I have Target, Ulta Beauty, Amazon, Poshmark, Supreme, and Walgreens. Honestly, don't know why I have the Walgreens app. I don't use it at all. I don't even know why I had it in the first place. But anyways, Mantra. Um, I'll show you guys that app in a second. And then in my food folder, I have Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, Brown Table, Pyology, Habit Burger, and Lose It, which is like a dieting calorie tracking app. My utilities folder is just my calendar, clock, and my reminders. And then this is Mantra. You can choose like a background that you want, whatever a sound. I'm just gonna go with Zen. So then basically every day you can put a reminder on your phone minus for 10 a.m. and you just hold the button and it'll tell you affirmation every day. So the one for today says, my efforts are being supported by the universe. My dreams manifest into reality before my eyes. So you can add some of these to your favorites and then just see whichever like affirmations that I liked and that I saved previously. So these are some of the ones that I like. But yeah, this is just a cool app, a little easy daily affirmation. So it's not something you have to like look up or try to think of a new daily affirmation every day and you can just have one like generated for you. But anyways, that's what my phone is looking like right now. If you stuck around this far, I appreciate you guys so much. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.